Hey guys, Taira here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've already been here, thanks for coming back. So it is our first video of the new year. Happy new year to you guys. In today's video, we are going to be doing a review. We're going to be reviewing the new Rare Beauty bronzing stick and setting powder. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on these products or just seeing how they work, then please keep on watching. Um, in my last video, I did do a giveaway. So the winner for that giveaway, I will have them pinned in the comment section of this video and I will also have it linked in the description down below so congrats to the person that won the giveaway before we start the video please make sure you are subscribed to the channel please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time your girl uploads a video and follow me on Instagram and with that being said let's jump right into the video alright you guys so my brows are already done and I did a quick little eye look just to get all of that out the way I picked up two of these setting powders and one off the bronzer stick I'm just going to quickly apply some foundation just to get that out the way and then we can focus on the rest of the base with the Rare Beauty products All right, y'all, foundation is on. Before I jump into the bronzer stick, I'm just going to apply some concealer. I use two shades. I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going in with the shade Amand and the shade Caramel. I use Caramel to brighten and Amand just to conceal. you guys so while my concealer is sitting let's talk about the bronzing stick this is the warm wishes effortless bronzing stick this retails for $23 and I picked up the shade full of life this is the second to last shade as we continue we will talk more about the shade um, so this is supposed to be a breakthrough bronzing stick that gives quick and visible sun kiss glow with a smooth seamless second skin finish just swipe on blend and go so this is supposed to be a super easy bronzing stick um, as I said I picked up the shade full of life this is the second to last shade for cream bronzers what I've seen is that we usually get between seven and eight shades so five shades is not really cutting it and I don't understand the five shades as I said, we will talk more about it as we continue. This is what the package looks like. I hope it's focusing because the package is like a light pink. The package is gorgeous. Rare Beauty always does really, really good when it comes on to packaging. Um, I'm going to swatch this on the back of my hand just so you guys can see before I apply it to my face. So this is what it looks like. This shade should definitely work for me. I feel like the darkest shade is just too red for my liking um it is a bronzer it's supposed to have that red undertone but that shade looks like a straight up orange color corrector that's how red it is and this one i feel like this is more my kind of red for a bronzer so let's see how it works on my skin i'm just going to apply this to my face even this shade it just looks red but let's see what it looks like when i blend it out I must say it is very, very creamy. It's going on very nicely. I'm going to blend this side first so you guys can see it in comparison to the side without bronzer, just so you can see a difference. I'm using my Merit Beauty blending brush. This is how much product I went in with. I don't think I need any more. I'm just going to blend this out. Alright y'all, so this is the bronzer 
and this is without bronzer i'm not gonna lie it looks good it blends really really nicely it's just a little bit too red for my liking i'm going to show you it in comparison to my perfect bronzer color which is the huda beauty tantor just so you can see the difference all right you guys so this is the rare beauty and this is the huda beauty i don't know if you guys can tell that the huda beauty you can see the red undertone but with rare beauty it's more of a orange than it is a red correct me if i'm wrong but huda beauty is the perfect bronzer shade it bronzes without being too red i feel like this is just pulling a little bit too red for my liking let's see how it looks like once the face is done but let me know what you guys think i don't know i like it it blends really really nicely the shade is just too red for my liking as it's settling into the skin it's starting to look a little bit better but let's see once the face is done i'm just going to do the rest of my face with the bronzer all right y'all the bronzer is on and i'm not gonna lie it looks good it looks good i like the way it looks I feel like once I blend the concealer out, it's going to balance out that orange. Like as it's drying down, it is looking a lot less orange, if I'm making any sense. It's looking a lot better. I keep looking at the viewfinder just to see, because it looks really good. And even in person, it doesn't look as orange. So I'm going to blend the concealer out and then you guys be the judge. So this is what the face is looking like when I blend my concealer out with the bronzer on and everything. I feel like it looks really, really good. This bronzer was so easy to use. I feel like it looks good. Like now that it is settling into my skin, it looks a lot less orange. It's working well basically with the other products on my skin. So I think it looks good. All right, you guys. So this is where it gets even more tricky with this collection. I picked up two shades in the setting powder according to Sephora. This is the Always an Optimist Soft Radiance Setting Powder and this one retails for $22. So it's a dollar cheaper than the bronzing stick. And this is supposed to be a silky, do it all, talc free, loose setting powder to visibly smooth blur and control shine for a soft natural finish and all day comfort so the shades are a little bit confusing as i said i picked up light medium and medium so there is one more shade before light medium and i feel like that shade would have been a little bit too light i wasn't sure so i went with light medium for my under eyes and then medium for like all over my face fingers crossed this will work so i'm going to take light medium first i'm going to open both shades just to show you them side by side by the way 10 out of 10 for packaging like rare beauty always gets it right when it comes on to packaging beautiful all right you guys i hope that this is focusing i will turn the lights down so you guys can see it a little bit better but this is the shade medium and this is the shade light medium light medium I'm going to try to use that under my eyes and then medium all over my face. I'm go just going to blend any creasing that might have happened under my eyes and then I'll go in with the powder. All right, so for the powder under the eyes, I'm going to test it both with a brush and with a sponge. I'm going to go in with a sponge first. So I'm pressing the powder on the sponge and then I tap the excess off and then I press it under my eyes. Um... There is a slight shimmer in the powder. So it's giving a little bit, something shimmery is in the powder. I'm not sure what it is. It's not too much because as you can see, it looks really good, but something shimmery is going on and I'm not sure that I like that, but we will see. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use a brush on this side just so you guys can see how it applies with a brush. Uh, 
Okay. All right, so this is what the powder looks like when you apply it with a brush. I'm not gonna lie, I prefer the sponge. Um, I'm seeing too much of the shimmer when I use the brush. So I'm just going to finish off with the sponge. All right, so to set the rest of the face, I'm going to use medium and I'm using the other end of the sponge just to lightly press this into my face. I just prefer how it looks when you use a sponge. Alright y'all, so this is what the face looks like with the powders on. I'm not gonna lie, it is a very nice, soft, skin-like kind of powder. It is giving a lot of glow. That shimmeriness that I was talking about, it is not too much, but I'm not sure how I feel about it as yet, but it does look really, really nice on the skin. I personally prefer to apply it with a sponge. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then come back and give you guys my final thoughts. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am back, and this is the finished look. So let me give you guys my final thoughts. First, the bronzing stick. I actually like the formula of the bronzing stick. I feel like they need to fix up the shade situation and then come back with the bronzing stick, and then I definitely recommend it. The formula is amazing. It was super easy to blend. I feel like this shade, if we are shade twins, this is the shade that you should pick. The next shade or the darkest shade is going to be a little bit too red because this is definitely pulling too red for my liking. But once you get done with your makeup and it settles into your skin, it looks a lot better. So if you want to try this, I feel like this shade, it's called Full of Life, is going to be your best bet. Other than that you won't find a shade to work for you the shade above this I feel like is just too red it's just straight up red but the formula is pretty good they just need to work on the shades and then come back with this bronzer because I actually really really like it let me know what you guys think about it I didn't go in with powder bronzer just because I wanted you guys to see how it looks once the look was done and I actually really do like it so this I'm going to give it like a 5 out of 10 because of the shade if they had the whole shade thing figured out then I'd say 10 out of 10 but this I do like as for the setting powder you guys this is a very nice setting powder the skin looks really really good it is a radiant setting powder I personally if I hold on to this setting powder it's going to be for more all over the face than under the eyes I personally don't like the way it looks under my eyes it is giving more of like a shimmery kind of radiance I don't know if you remember that elf um halo powder it is not as shimmery as that but that is what it is giving and i personally don't like that for under my eyes it looks beautiful all over the face i feel like if you want something to give you that nice glowy radiant finish all over your face pick up the setting powder but for under the eyes it works it looks good if that is what you like for under your eyes then definitely try this powder out it is a very nice soft lightweight powder very skin like powder and I do like that once again the shade is a little bit confusing um, if we are shade twins and you want to use this under your eyes I recommend using the shade light medium I think that is the second shade and then if you want something for all over your face then go with the shade medium but let me know what you guys think I feel like the face looks really really good but I am not wowed by this launch it could have been a lot better I've seen rare beauty do so much better with their launches but this is something is missing something is missing from this launch I don't know what it is but it does look really really good but I just expected more but it does look really really good on the skin it just didn't wow me once again if they fix up that shade situation with the bronzer I am here for that because the formula is very 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 beautiful blends really really nicely but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below are you going to pick up this launch what do you think how does the face look let me know I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you found it helpful don't forget to like share comment subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in my next one
Bye.